Welcome to Wednesday morning, all you humans and resellers. It is I, James, RedemptionAgency.com, 20-year eBay seller. Here in the morning, going to pull some orders and get them shipped out. These are from yesterday. These are some new arrivals. And do I have proof? Do I have? Why is that? Like, what's going on over here? What's wrong with my printer? figure that out um oh I, I printed out my thing last night it didn't come through oh i gotta figure that out um do i have proof that e e e e ebay is there is there a glitch in in the matrix um do i have proof that ebay controls how many items you sell talked about it in yesterday's video but check it out did i predict it or did i just randomly guess Okay, three days ago, well, four days ago, technically, I guess, 65 items sold. Bam, right? Let's see, 2.4 million impressions, 4,500 page views. We're going to look at those items. Also, I haven't checked those numbers, but 65 items sold. The day after, 65 items sold, 4.5 or uh, 4,500 impressions, pretty much spot on, two, just different by two, yet the impressions are down 200,000, okay, and then yesterday, 65 sold, page views 43, so we got page views down about 100-ish, and impressions only 1.9 million, so down another, down a total of 400,000 basically from that day, yet still 65 items sold. Pretty weird. Same, same, same. I've never noticed that ever happening before. I've always talked about how consistent my sales normally were before all this eBay site issues and the the roller coaster ride it's been for the last probably three months. I've never seen that kind of consistency even when I was selling consistent. That being said, all my numbers are at least up there. <laughs> and then we're all right, I had to answer a question. Alright, so I'm curious to see how today is gonna end up. Today is Wednesday though. And Wednesdays are normally totally trash days on eBay uh, for the past couple of months. So I'm curious to see what today today's Wednesday will bring. Um, I'm not sure if they use Wednesdays to update the site. And that's what trashes the sales normally. So we shall see if that stays the same pattern. But we're going to get into what's sold. Get into the new releases and get this stuff done. I always say new releases, new arrivals, James. The English language. All right, first up, well, that's going into a lot, so we'll wait on that one. Another album that's taken off uh, that I probably got hundreds of in storage, so I've got to get to those. Wham! Make It Big sold for clearance five bucks, but still. A cassette that normally used to didn't sell too well and then you may recognize this one it's the love survival and drive the indie band that couldn't find no history on sales uh put it up for about a thousand bucks with best offer to see who could come in and give me the best offer uh, i wanted to sell it that day so the highest offer that day was 130 dollars so that's what it sold for 130 dollars then we've got Frankie Valley, 16 Greatest Hits cassette, sold for $6. And then we got this uh, Runner's Hat Flying Pig, looks like a half marathon. And uh, this sold for $10. All right, Kelly Price, a CD promo single, sold for $10. All right, got an overstock item. Meatloaf, I'd do anything for love. Cassette single, so far, clearance, $5. All right, 
We got an Ireland t-shirt sold for $7. All right, we got a Nashville, Tennessee. Music City, USA shirt sold for $11. Dun, 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 dun. It's the big dog, the baby boy with the itchies. <laughs> and here comes the baby girl. I want my Robins. You got to give me my Robins. I saw that. <laughs> the baby girl. She's the baby girl. The baby boy. <sighs> Goofies. Goth Squad Visor. Sold for $10. All right, we got a Kansas City Jayhawks here, a vintage new era. Bam, nice condition. And this sold for $19. All right, Belle Bid DeVoe, Poison. Uh, cassette single sold for Clarence, $5. Going up to Canada. All right, American Legion hat, going to Malaysia, sold for $12. Brooks and I like it when it's easy. Promo CD single sold for eight dollars. All right, looking for Bush. I saw it was in a blue case. So. Uh, promo CD single sold for eight dollars. Here, Vern, go outside. All right, we're looking for Elvis. There we go. All right, Elvis cassette sold for clearance, five dollars. All right, I show forty-six free to flight, but I think it's in a thin thing. Maybe not. Hmm. 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 Free to flight. Here she comes again. <laughs> it was in the thin thing right in there. Kind of hidden from me. All right, free to flight. Free to fight on Candy Ass Records. CD sold for $23. All right, looking for a classic album. There we go. Biggity bam. Beastie Boys licensed to ill. Sold clearance, five dollars. I like it when it's easy. NHL 13 on the PS3. Sold for clearance, five dollars. Queen's Logic DVD going up to Canada. Sold for clearance, five dollars. All right, another one of those Hobby Lobby pickups many years ago. On clearance, paid a dollar piece for them, I believe. Dollar, dollar quarter, somewhere in there. Uh, sold for eight dollars. Got this vineyard hat, sold for nine dollars. All right, almost forgot. Almost threw it in the box. Uh, Hannah Montana hat, sold for ten dollars. All right, FBI visor, sold for seven dollars. Are you ready for a CD line? Yeah. All right, we got two CDs. We got Fame and we got Annie. And together they both sold for $11. Are you ready for a headline? Yeah. Dunes West Golf Club. Two hats. Boom. Sold for $14. Are you ready for a CD? Yeah. Somebody took advantage of my buy three, get 50% off clearance items. So we got three CDs that sold for $7.50. We've got Pretty Woman, Dirty Dancing, and we've got Poop Floats. I mean, Hope Floats. Three CDs, clearance items, buy three, get 50% off. So three CDs, $7.50. Madison County Firemen's Association sold for $13 going over to France. All right, Lindenwood University hat sold for $8.50. Genuine Antique Fisherman sold for $9. All right, we got some Cupid brand wingtip styled 
very bright silver shoes. Uh, these sold for $14.